In this video, we are going to learn how to integrate with the Casio FS CG50 calculator very fast in seconds for multiple choice questions. And after going through this video, I guarantee you that you will be able to integrate very fast with Casio FS CG50 calculator, especially for multiple choice questions. So ensure you stay with me to the very end of this video because we are going to learn a lot, guys. Alright, so before we get the Casio calculator and go into the details of the video, if you look closely here, you notice that we have three questions to practice with, of which I would note here that cot theta equals 1 over tan theta, sec theta equals 1 over cos theta, and cos sec theta equals 1 over sin theta, where theta equals x. Alright, so I'm going to explain how you can apply these trigonometric identities as we progress into the details of this video. Alright, so this video we focus more on trigonometric integration all right so there's been the Casio calculator now I'm going to the details of the video okay so this is Casio FS CG50 calculator now the very first thing you have to do a bit to reset the calculator to clear it the sense of doing this is to wipe out whatever previous value you might have stored on the calculator so to quickly reset the calculator all you have to do is to navigate with this navigation button to system when you get the system press is a good is a good for this calculator stands for equation so when you get here you press f5 which is reset all right it will bring you to the next page all right so when you get here you click or you press f6 for next page all right then when you get here it will bring you to this very place now, when you get here, you then press F2, which stands for initialize all. Alright? Now, F1, which is yes, you want to initialize all. And it begins to initialize all as indicated here. Alright, so let's wait for it to initialize all to reset the calculator. Okay, so this is trigonometric indefinite integration. Alright? So it's done. Is it a quick exit button? okay so we are going to go to begin to integrate this indefinite integrals we have here all right so the, the next thing you have to do now will be to store a number which is two i recommend often because i have practiced with two for a very long time and i have not found any error with it so i recommend two often for whatever i teach all right so to start to on this calculator you have to do is to go to under this one matrix you press is a quick Alright, so you press number first two, then press execute to start this two. You press this arrow button. Alright, take note of it. Arrow button. Then you press alpha. Alright, you want to store it as x s is at this plus button. You press this plus button. Then press execute. It indicate that two has been stored on this calculator. So let's delete everything here. Except one. Alright, so the next thing you have to note again is that your calculator has to be in reduced mode. Very important, guys. If yours happens to be in degree, let me show you how to put it in reduced mode. All you have to do is press shift this minimum button, then navigate down. You will see angle. Let's say by default my calculator is reduced, so no need to change it. If yours happens to be in degree, for instance, if I press F1 now. It will change to degree. Alright, so if you happen to be in degree, simply put it to reduce by pressing F2, and that's all. The press is it. Alright, so it's waiting radius. Alright, we are safe. Make sure that it's radius, guys. Very, very important. Okay, so having done this, we can begin to integrate these questions now. Now, the idea behind indefinite integration with the castle calculator is to Simplify or evaluate the question and then differentiate the options to get your answer. Alright, so having known this, let's begin question one. So we have evaluate exponential raised to, to the inverse of tan x. Alright, we have this expression, this polynomial expression in the brackets. So let's begin to simplify it. So we have to bring out the exponential, you press shift this lame button. Alright, with the power of okay, tan inverse of x, we have the press shift tan 
x to bring that x plus alpha x all right then you come down you impute what you have you have in bracket all right fraction one plus x alpha x all right plus under x alpha x square all right let's go to the denominator we have one plus x alpha x all right square close the bracket that's all uh, let's not press equal to the ds is not part of what we're going to impute what ds stands for is function right so let's press execute okay we have 4.23 all right right now we're going to differentiate the options and the one that gives us 4.23 will directly be our answer all right so let's delete everything here delete all so let's go to math to bring out d over dx press f4 so look at d over dx f4 again so let's differentiate option a all right and see if it's if it is going to give us 4.23 all right it's as simple as that guys so we have in for option a alpha x all right exponential shift lane button the power tan inverse of x all right shift tan x alpha x okay now one more thing ensure that your bracket is balanced here that is very important if your bracket is not balanced if you end up having syntax error mass error so you show that the bracket is always balanced when differentiating all right so having impute these values don't put the plus the plus c is just a constant there you don't need to put it here so you go to this place and put the two restored very, very important all right so that's all let's now press support and see if we're going to get 4.23 all right is a quick 4.23 correct so uh, answer here is option a it's as simple as that now feel free to check option b and option d i know that you will not get similar value but feel free to check it our answer we have no need is already option a all right so because of time let's go to question two and do it so let's delete everything here request is it delete all all right so for question two we have integrate tech to the power of 4x dx now if you check closely on this calculator there's no sec that's why i said note in trigonometric identity sec theta is something as one over cos theta all right so we are we will replace theta to the x that means instead of doing sec theta on this calculator what we are going to do now will be one over cos theta that's one over cos x all right so since we don't have sec, so look at what we're going to do now to represent this sec, the power of 4x, it will be, use this fraction button, 1 over, alright, cos, x, alpha x, alright, now, to put this power, look at how we're going to do it, you close the brackets, let me guys, close the brackets, then come here and, Put the power the power is what four this is how you represent it for this calculator take notes of these guys if you did anything aside from what i've done here you get the wrong answer all right so this is the same thing as what we have here set to the power of 4x so having done this let's press execute now so we have 33.34 so right now let's differentiate the option and see the one that give us 33.34 all right so let's delete everything here okay so remember we have 33.34 so let's go to max f4 and f4 again d by dx so let's begin with option a so in option a we have an x alpha x okay we have plus in fraction we have tan to the tan square x all right so we have Look at how you do it, alpha x. Okay. okay. So you come to the denominator and put your three. All right. So you look at for that square. You close the brackets here at the numerator. Sorry, don't include the denominator values. 
otherwise so you this is what you do you put a square here then go to this side and put the two restored so this is how you do it for this option in short that the buckets are balanced as we can see here the bucket here is balanced we have two at the left we have two at the right so it's balanced so it places a crit and as two point system no we got at the three points three for there about so let's do option c let's quickly adjust it here all right guys very interesting so for option c all you have to do is to remove this square here and put cube and put three all right so that's that's it for option c right here yeah. you don't put the plus c all right so let's press the button and see what we're going to have confirm so our answer is what option c option b here is none okay so you can check option d and see if you have the 3.34 but let's, let's just check it now let me show you let me show you all you have to do is to remove this three and put okay we have three there all you have to do is to remove this three here and put four but the answer is option c guys then sorry you go to this side and remove this go to this side and remove this and that's all that's for option d all right then press record to down the plus c you see we didn't get that two point three percent one says what option c and x plus and cube x over three plus c so that's the answer now last let's talk question okay before you call it a class very interesting let's delete everything here so you press exit delete delete all all right f1 okay so for question three we have cost 4x plus 1 over cut x over 10 x so how do you do this question or how do you solve it so very simple let's simplify all right so we have cost 4x alpha x all right plus 1 okay over we have cuts now cuts is not on this calculator now if you check here i would note cuts theta equals one over tan theta so we're going to replace cuts with one over tan x all right it's as simple as that so we have one over tan x alpha x all right so that's it go to this side and put your minus the right hand x alpha x so that's it we have cos 4x plus 1 over 1 over tan x minus tan x all right so this is exactly what we have here for cos 4x plus 1 over cos x minus tan x okay so having impute the values let's go ahead and press report and see what we're going to get let's put this a bit okay 0 0.49 right now let's differentiate and see the option i give us 0 0.49 that will be your answer so let's delete everything here you press f2 delete all f1 okay so let's begin with option a you go to max d over dx so for option a we have minus okay 1 over 2 1 over 2 all right go to this side and put cos 4x alpha x all right i think that's all yes the bracket is balanced so go to and put the two restored so we are good to go let's press the quotes and that's what we're going to have 1.9 no we got 0 0.49 yeah about so let's check option b let's quickly adjust it here okay guys very interesting so all you have to do for option b is to remove these two and put it and that's all right here so let's press is equal to equal to 
confirm so point final so this will answer option b it's as simple as that guys now if you want to check option c all right so what you have to do is to remove this page and put four all right first is a quiz no so answer is what option b that's the one i gave us 0.49 so guys this is basically how you can solve trigonometric indefinite integration with the Casio fps cg50 calculator i right, hope so you learned something interesting from this video let's, let's call it a class here i encourage you to practice often with more questions so that you can master it and with this that comes the end of the class if you are new to the channel you should hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this so like share and comment on this video tell me how you feel from what i have learned from this class if you seem to have any specific questions to ask feel free to leave your question at the comment section below and i will ensure to give you a response all right so that's it for this class guys thanks for watching don't forget to reset your calculator once you are done to do that all you have to do is to press menu all right go to system to reset the calculator so this is system press execute okay so we have reset f5 next page initialize or f2 f1 and the calculator will begin to reset and uh, we'll be good to go that's it for this class guys thanks for watching see you in my next video okay this is it yeah